Hello and welcome to part two of this recorded workshop on preparing to sit the Lantite numeracy test. You can pause, rewind and fast forward this video at any time. Also on some slides a next button will appear in the bottom right corner and or a back button will appear in the bottom left corner. The video will be automatically paused to allow you time to read the question and work out your answer or to read the solution. You need to do your working out and your answers on paper for this workshop, not on the screen. Click this next button when it appears when you're ready to move forward. Well done. Now this second part of the workshop consists of 10 practice questions which you can use a calculator for to get the answer. You're not allowed to bring your own calculator into the Lantite test. Instead, an online calculator in a pop-up window will be available to you for this type of question. To give yourself practice at completing these questions using an online calculator, before clicking the Next button, download an online calculator from one of the two sites on this slide. Use the information and the image of the analog clock to determine the finishing time of the exam. The solution explains how the correct answer is obtained. You might consider what skills are involved in working out this solution. You may have thought of these skills and maybe more, but the list we came up with includes these skills of adding and subtracting, understanding time units and solving problems that have several steps. This information is for question 2. Read the information and look at the table of results of three javelin throws by 13 students. Then click the next button to see the question. For this question, you can use the back button to return to the previous slide to have another look at the table before working out your answer. Choose your answer from the four options. The diagram and the explanation show how the solution is obtained. Take some time to consider not only this solution, but also give some thought to what skills and concepts are being tested here. For this type of question, it is important to be able to select, read and understand information presented in a table, to be able to compare quantities in order to rank them. Study carefully this street map showing the location of Beckett Primary School and the information. The question is on the next slide. The table contains three statements. You have to answer yes or no for each statement. You can use the back button to go back and have another look at the map. Use the next button to move forward. The table here shows how the correct answer to such a question would appear in the actual Lantite test. The mouse has been clicked in the yes or no circle beside each statement. Obviously, map reading skills are critical in answering this type of question, but also your ability to determine your new direction if you turn left or right from where you're going at present. Read the information and study carefully the same street map showing the location of Beckett Primary School. When you've answered the question, Click the Next button. There are two ways to work this out. One way is the way explained on the slide in which the area of a grid square is calculated, then divided by 4. Another way is to estimate both the length and the width of the school block to be about 200 metres, and then multiplying 200 by 200 gives an area of 40,000 square metres. Skills involved in solving this type of question include being able to interpret a scale on a map to gauge distances, 
using a formula for area, estimating linear distances, and multiplying multiples of 10 together. For question 5, there is an image of a salad roll and a bottle of water. Read the information and then write down your answer to the question. If this were a question on the Lantite test, you would use the mouse to click in the true or false circle of your answer. The solution explains why the correct answer is false. This type of question relies on your ability to estimate with money, as well as to add, subtract and multiply effectively. Study the information presented and the column graph, which shows the performance by Year 4 students in reading at different band levels at a number of schools. The question is on the next slide. Here is a table containing three statements. Write down true or false for each statement. You can use the back button to go back to the graph as often as you want to. Click the next button to move forward. Once again, the table shows how the correct answer to such a question would appear in the actual Lantite test. The mouse has been clicked in the true or false circle beside each statement. These are the skills required to answer this type of question. Among them is the skill of identifying keywords in the question that will hint at how to answer it. Also, looking at the title to get an understanding of the information depicted, looking at the key to determine the particular categories, and choosing the correct column for the selected school or other schools is important. This section of a spreadsheet shows the results of a number of assessment tasks. Study it carefully along with the information. The question is on the next slide. Choose your answer to the question from the four choices. You can use the back button to go back to the spreadsheet on the previous slide as often as you like. Use the next button to move forward. Now you don't have to be a whiz with Excel to answer this question. It's more about being able to follow a formula that is presented to you in what might be an unfamiliar context. The solution explains why the correct answer is D. This type of question relies on your ability to interpret what's required from reading the question, interpreting information presented in a table, or in this case a spreadsheet, and it also includes your ability to calculate percentages. Sometimes BODMAS will be called on to make the correct calculation as well. The image of a maths teacher at the blackboard complements this question. Read the question, work out your answer and then write it down. One solution to this problem involves a bit of algebra and you can see it there on the slide. Another option though is to use the 10% rule. If you take one third of the 30%, that is 15 teachers, one third of 15 gives 5. So that means that 10% of the teachers is 5 and therefore 100%, which is 10 times 10%, must be 10 times 5, which is 50. Skills involved in this type of question are centred on percentage calculations, as well as the four basic processes. Look at this dot plot of fuel efficiency for a number of cars. Read the questions and write your answer to each of the three parts. The solution shows the same dot plot for you to refer to and an explanation for each answer part. This type of question relies on your ability to interpret a graph and some knowledge of basic statistics such as the median. 
A reminder at this point that if you have any queries about these sample questions or their solutions, make a note to arrange an appointment with an academic skills advisor on your campus. This final question contains information about students in Year 4. Read the information and choose your answer to the question from the four choices. The solution contains an explanation of and calculations for the correct answer. This type of question relies on your ability to select the correct information from the wording of the question, to process that information and to call upon the skills of manipulating fractions in order to find the solution. This is the end of the Calculator Allowed section of this Lantite workshop. If you haven't already, you should now do Part 3, the Calculator Not Allowed section. Finally, a reminder that if you've got any queries about any of the questions in this set or any other questions, you should make full use of the academic skills people on your campus. Also, remember that there is a large number of resources available for you on the FEA Lantite Support Leo page. You can access and run this video again at any time.